Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to add the text box values dynamically into a grid view control using jQuery. And here we got the final output. I'm entering the text box first name Charan K, the country India. Notice the text box values are added into this grid view control. Let's add the another name, Peter, Ben, the country name is the USA, add values to grid view button control. And notice that Peter is also added to the grid view control dynamically using jQuery. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new ASP.NET web application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is Textbox Grid View Add Dynamically jQuery okay and from the templates I'm selecting empty okay and the project is created successfully let's open solution explorer now in this project I'm adding one web form page right click the project name add web form the web form page number I'm giving text box values add Grid view jQuery. Click OK. And here we got the source page of the newly created web form. But in the form and do tab, I'm adding three text box control and one button control. The first name, open toolbox, come to the bottom, text box control. I'm changing the text box ID to text F name last name the ID I'm changing to F L name country I'm changing the ID of this text box control, text control. After that, I'm adding break. Let's add the button control. And the button control, and I'm changing the text button control. Add values to View. and I'm changing the button control ID also button G view which is a grid view control after that I'm adding a grid view control open toolbox from the data folder there is a grid view control I'm adding that one let's put this control in the center tab H1 how to add text box values into grid view using jQuery horizontal line add this center tag after the grid view control that's it we have done the designing part before adding the jquery snippet to this page let's check the basic output how it looks on the browser google chrome and here we got the output of that code which contains a header tags three text box controls and one button control now my aim is what are the values i enter into this text box controls first name last name and country 
and I click the button control I want to add those text box values into the grid view control using jQuery so let's add the latest jQuery CDN link into our project in the Google search for latest jQuery CDN Google And from the search results, notice the first one, hosted libraries. I'm selecting that one. In the Google hosted libraries, notice in the corner there is a contents panel here. In that panel, there is a jQuery. Click that one. You can find the different versions of jQuery snippets. I'm selecting the latest version, which is a 3.3.1. Let's copy this snippet. Let's add into our project stop debugging I'm adding the jQuery CDN in the header section after that script type is equals to text slash JavaScript inside the script I'm adding document dot ready function Let's add the semicolon, close that one. Now inside this ready function, I'm adding the functionality. Now in this function, I'm adding the functionality. When I click the button control, the text box values will be added to the grid view control. Dollar between double quotes. Here the control I'm adding is the server control, ASP.NET control. So we have to put between the double quotes. But when square brackets id star is equals to I'm adding the button control id but gv dot the event is a click event I'm adding the function let's close this one now in this click event I'm declaring the variables variable f name is equals to we are getting the variables from the text box one dollar between double quotes square brackets id star is equal to text f name dot val method variable l name is equal to dollar between double quotes square brackets id star is equals to i am adding the text last name dot val method variable country the last variable dollar between double quotes square brackets id star is equals to I'm adding the last text box control ID which is a text country dot val method. Now I'm adding the values from the text box control into grid view control. Variable row is equals to dollar between double quotes. So between double quotes square brackets ID is is equals to I'm adding the grid view ID after adding the grid view ID I'm adding the T body element table row colon last I want to enter the last row of the grid view controls dot clone method after that let's create the rows table rows between double quotes td colon and and child comma the second one is the target is the rows dot html method I'm adding the f name variable. 
let's copy this I have three text box controls I'm adding three columns three rows sorry one two and three and the variable here is a last name copy this one paste here a country paste here using this clone method let's add the values into the grid view control so just copy this one paste here instead of clone I'm adding before row that's it so once the records are added to the grid view control I want to clear the text box controls so let's add these ones single quotes single quotes and the second text box control I'm adding single quotes and the last one the country single quotes after that the most important return false that's it up to now we have just finished the jQuery snippet the last part we have to bind the text box values to the grid view control so right click the mouse go to view code in the page load event I'm adding data table so data table or oh, require the user namespace using system dot data namespace now let's add the data table dt is equals to new data table first I'm adding the values from the text box control into the data table then I'm adding this data table object to the grid view control so let's add the columns to the data table dt dot columns dot add the first one is a first name which is the headers of the grid view control columns dot add last name semicolon dt dot columns dot add the country now after adding the columns now we are binding the rows dt dot rows dot add inside this add I'm adding the text box control text f name dot text comma text l name dot text comma the last one is a country name x country dot text now let's bind the data grid view control grid view one dot data source is equals to I'm adding the data table object grid view one dot data bind method that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to check the results on the browser I'm reloading the browser link and here we got the final output I'm entering the text box first name Charan K the country India notice the text box values are added into this grid view control let's add the another name Peter Ben the country name is the USA add values to grid view button control and notice that Peter is also added to the grid view control dynamically using jQuery that's it